here. In this question we're asked to solve this equation. First off, let's attempt to get rid of the fractions. Now, the golden rule when solving equations is if you do an action on one side, you must do the same action on the other side to keep the thing balanced. So on the left hand side, let's divide by 2. The action we should take is the opposite. That means multiplying by 2. And so we must do that to both sides. However, at the same time on the right hand side, we've got a divide by 5. So to get rid of that, we should be multiplying by 5. And again, we should be doing the same on the left hand side. Now you can see that the secret weapon we're supposed to be firing at these fractions to destroy them is really a times 10. Times 2 times 5 is times 10. So the trick is to multiply really both sides by 10. But remember that's really just a times 2 followed by a times 5. So let's take the whole of this left hand side, multiply it by 2, that would get rid of that. Divide by 2 would still have a times 5 on that x. And then this term multiplied by 2, multiplied by 5, that would be times 10. So we'd be multiplying that minus 1 by 10. So let's go over that again. Times 2 times 5. The times 2 cancels that divide by 2 and leaves us a times 5. So that x gets multiplied by 5. The second term gets multiplied by 2 and gets multiplied by 5, so it's multiplied by 10. Let's tackle the right-hand side. Now the whole of this expression 3 minus x is being divided by 5, the whole of it. So when I multiply by 5, that cancels out that divide by 5. And we've still got to multiply by 2. So the whole of that top expression gets multiplied by 2. So this looks a bit easier. We've got 5x minus 10 on the left hand side of the equation. And let's get rid of the brackets. Let's multiply both terms inside the brackets by 2. So 2 lots of 3 6 take away 2x. Now remember solving equations like this we're trying to end up with x equals uh, so x on its own on one side but we have x's on both sides of this equation so let's take the action that gets rid of x say on the right hand side here so what's the opposite of taking away 2x that's adding 2x. So there's the action I'm going to take on the right hand side of the equation. I need to balance it by taking the same action on the left hand side of the equation. So let's carry out that action. We've got 5x plus a 2x would be 7x and we've still got that minus 10 in there. That's adding 2x to the left hand side. Adding 2x to the right hand side will just cancel out this minus 2x and we'll be left with 6. Now final action here, let's get rid of this take away 10 by doing the opposite. Let's add 10 to both sides of that equation. And if we do that action on the left, the negative 10 disappears, we're left with 7x. If we do that action on the right hand side, we'll get 16. 6 plus 10, 16. So finally, we get rid of this times 7. The opposite of times 7 is divide by 7. So if we're taking that action on the left, we'll do the same action on the right. So we get 7x divided by 7, leaving us with x. And that divide by 7 cancels this multiplied by 7. And on the right, we've got 16 over 7. And that's a perfectly valid answer. I suppose we could divide 7 into 16. It goes twice 14 plus 2 sevenths left over. We're saying that 
16 sevenths is the same as 14 sevenths plus another 2 sevenths. So there's your answer, 16 sevenths or 2 and 2 sevenths for the value of x solving this equation. That's Mr. Corsi signing out. Hope you enjoyed the video.